First at 6, News 13 is your local election headquarters, and in just over two weeks, South Carolinians will cast their votes in the Democratic presidential primary. And thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Jubeck. And I'm Patsy Kelly. And elections offices across the state are making primary preparations. And News 13's Gracie Fusco went to the Horry County Voter Registration and Elections Complex today, where one task that office is doing is testing the voting machines. With the Democratic presidential primary election happening on February 3rd, voters are invited to come here and see the voting machines get tested. I was able to see the process of making sure the equipment is ready for election day firsthand. So the election's been loaded. You see the election title, the actual polling location where it's going to, the date of the election. Now since all of our information is correct, all the functionality of the machine seems to be correct, now we're gonna seal it for um, transport and that's what the poll worker would verify election day. There are about 70 voting machines, one for each precinct that will be pre-tested and configured prior to the election. Now through Friday, voters are invited to come and see the machines get tested. Some people don't know about the process at all um, and have a lot of questions. They can always come. It's like I said, it's a public process open to the public. And come on down. Other preparations being made include contacting and setting up voting precincts and getting poll workers, which has been challenging with the election being held on a Saturday. Saturdays, you know, pose a problem. People don't want to work on Saturdays. So we're, you know, having to move around some poll workers. And that's one reason that we're not opening all of our precincts. You know, some of the locations we couldn't use, some of the locations we couldn't get workers. So. Um, you know, based on advice from the state and from the parties, we combined a lot of the precincts this time. Despite the obstacles, Director Sandy Martin thinks there will be enough poll workers and a good turnout. Back in 2020, there were some minor issues with the voting machines, the same ones that will be used in a few weeks. Officials say they have plans in case of any technical difficulties. It's, you know, it's a computer. You know, things happen. Um, we test them before they go, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. We have technicians that work on election day, um, what we call rovers, and they're equipped to, you know, check to see what might be the problem. With precincts being combined, officials say it is important to know where you're supposed to go to cast your vote. If you vote in the Democrat primary, you're not allowed to vote in the Republican primary, so be sure you know which way you want to go before you go on election day. If you're interested in seeing the voting equipment get tested, you can call the Registration and Elections Office to make an appointment. It is open to the public now through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Reporting in Conway, Gracie Fusco, News 13. And for a full list of the precincts in Horry County, go over to our website, WBTW.com. South Carolina's Republican primary is on Saturday, February 24th.